guys, it's Chala, and welcome back to the Samir Kareed's Fun Learning Activity. Did you know that our fun activity focused on many different subjects, such as science, health, history, and yes, even the arts. In today's activity, we are going to be focusing on the different things that deal with winter and winter season. But before we get into this activity, let's go over our quick vocabulary word. So our first and only vocabulary word is reindeer. And reindeer are a type of deer that are typically found in very cold areas and mainly in places in Eurasia and North America. And the good thing about this deer is that they are indeed used for things like pulling sleds as seen in the movies. And they have these really huge antlers that look kind of like tree branches. So now that we've learned a little bit about reindeer, let's get into this fun activity with Luis. Hello, it's Luis. Now that Jala showed you guys the vocabulary for this video, I'm gonna show you an activity that you guys can make your own reindeer hat. So, you guys are gonna be able to make your own reindeer hat um, by using construction paper and the different items that we're gonna need. So, let's get started with that. Now, we're gonna need um, two construction paper, any construction pa color paper that you guys want. I'm gonna use orange, and then scissors, uh, two googly eyes, some tape, glue stick, a pencil, a ruler, and then a pom pom. So uh, I'm gonna use a red one for the you know rain, red nose. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so. Let's get started with that. So we're going to start with the construction paper um, with one of them and we're going to cut uh, three, inch, three inch strips uh, for, the, for the hat. So we're going to measure uh, three inches right here on a piece of paper. We're going to use our, our ruler. So we're going to have three inch there and three inches. All right, and then we're gonna do that. So we're gonna try and get three inches strips off this piece of paper. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna tell you guys about different facts about reindeers. So now, reindeers. Uh, another word for reindeers is caribou, um, but most of the time it's easier for us to say reindeers rather than caribou because most of the caribou. Uh, People say it because of um, they live in North America because mostly in North America uh, we say caribou. Okay, so we're gonna have that's our three inch strip right there, and we're gonna cut. We're gonna have two of those, so two three inch strips. So we're gonna have one, and we're gonna have another one. So now the small facts about reindeers is that both females and males um, have antlers. So they both have antlers, but like the male ones would have the biggest antlers, but they would both have them. Yeah. But the females will have the shorter pair of antlers. So, um, so most of the reindeer or caribou, however you want to say it, um, come in very very large herds, like from fifty thousand to a hundred thousand reindeers at the same time. So that is a lot uh, of reindeers because that's why not a lot of predators um, really go after reindeers, but the only predators that you would see, uh, especially for reindeer calves, would be e uh, eagles because eagles can uh, snatch up, snap the baby right out of the ground and then that's the only predator that they have when they're small. So, now we're going to cut these uh, three inch strips um, and cut them because we need two of those. That's one. And we're going to have our second one. Right here. So, 
Now we have two of them. Two three inch strips. Uh, hopefully they are three. Yes, they are three inch. Okay. Now we're going to tape it together. So we're going to take this one out first. <coughs> and it's based on how big your head is. So I'm going to first uh, glue these together. So I'm going to have my glue together like this. I'm going to put them together. And make them stick together. And then the tape, I'm only using tape just to be more secure on getting a tape. So right here, we have it glued, and we're gonna tape these together. Okay, and then have that. Another strip just to be safe. Right here. So we're gonna have that. Now, so for this, we're gonna see how big our head is gonna be in order to make this. So it's gonna be around there, right here, you lift them up, and now we can see that it's going to get right there. So we're going to glue that part, right about there, we're going to glue that together, make sure it's the right size. And it is the right size, so we're gonna keep them more secured with the tape. Like that. And another tape. And there you go. We have this now. Now we're gonna add our googly eyes. So on one side of this would be um, the googly, the little googly eyes. So we're gonna glue them onto the little hat, make sure it's like symmetrical into it, so I'm going to put one there, and then I'm going to put one here, there you go, we have our little googly eyes, so now we're going to have our pom pom, uh, I could be any color but I'm using red because you know, um, but we're at the red nose right here, so we're gonna have a red. Put that, and glue that there. And there you go. We have a little pom pom onto it. So, all right. Now we're gonna add some antlers. We're gonna let this dry onto the side, and we're gonna make our very own antlers. So for the antlers, we're gonna use our hands um, to trace the antlers. So we're gonna have both of our hands right here uh, and then we're going to trace them from both hands. So we're going to do one hand first and then we'll do the other hand. So I'm going to make sure it's very spaced out when we do this. Okay, my left would be there. Alright. So other facts about reindeers or caribous is that uh, when they walk they make some clicking sounds. So. Um, you might see them walking around, and then if you hear some clicking sound, then you might have found a reindeer. Um, but sometimes reindeers don't have the best sense of sight and hearing. They mostly rely on smell. Because um, they have a great sense of smell because when they're breathing into the cold air, their nose actually um, breathes in warm air, so it releases from the cold air. Alright, see? That's one hand. We're gonna do our other hand now. So we're gonna do our right hand now. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't go over the left. Alright, so what the reindeers eat? Well, they're vegetarians, so they eat mostly uh, greens, fungi, and also any other leaves. So they're vegetarians, they eat anything other than meat. So. So, a lot of reindeers uh, run really, really, really fast from 36 to 48 miles per hour. Um, so, if you're trying to outrun a reindeer, don't because they're really fast. Alright, so we have our hands now, and so we're going to cut them out, and these are going to be our very own antlers. So, we have our hands, we're going to cut these out. 
don't have to be perfect because they're antlers and every antler is different when it comes to radiators. Not all antlers look the same because when you lose the antler, they're gonna grow right back. Just like our fingernails, um, when we cut them, it grows right back. So that's why reindeers, reindeers fight a lot with each other, especially males, and then sometimes they'll break an antler. But that's okay, um, they'll grow back. So. <coughs> So, most reindeers live um, in Russia or Iceland or Scandinavia and also in parts of North America, um, but <coughs> mostly in the Russia area, so in the Arctic Circle, mostly in that area because that's where most of them come from. Please. So, as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, we all have different unique hands. And the cut doesn't have to be perfect because you know these are going to be antlers. And the antlers don't look alike uh, most of the time for reindeers. So So the reason why uh, Santa Claus uh, used a lot of reindeers is back in 1821, there was a book, a book they called The New Year's Present, and that's when the reindeers were introduced uh, with Santa Claus. And that's why when you see Santa Claus, we usually ask for their reindeers. So it wasn't until, yeah, 1821 when a lot of stories and a lot of uh, songs uses reindeers with Santa Claus so yeah it hasn't been around for a very long time for Santa Claus and reindeers to be together all right this is our first hand uh, and then we're gonna cut our second hand so right now reindeers are not endangered or threatened um, because there's so many of them. As I said, they come in herds of 50,000 to 100,000. So it's already a lot for a lot of predators to try to come up to them. Um, or even hunters. Uh, because it's really hard for them because there are so many reindeers, you know. They're like a big, big family. You know, family sticks together. And they always try to protect their young, try to protect their family. So there's so many of them that it's hard to like hunt for them and for the predators to try and grab, grab them. So yeah, there's a lot of reindeers, and that's why not. That's why it's good that they're at least concerned and that they're not in danger. Because if they're in danger, we have to help them. Because every animal is very special endangered or not so we got to be careful when we get to the point when they're endangered or threatened because maybe they, uh, we try not to have any animals extinct because every animal is sacred and we need to help one another and show how important each animal is so we're done with this second hand all right now we have our two antlers, our hands. So we're gonna have one of them. So the thumb should be pointing towards the eyes, as you can see. So it'll be like this. This is my thumb, so it'll look toward the eyes. So we're gonna glue that into the hat. Some more. Gonna have it there. I think that's Perfect. And now we're going to glue our other hand. Make sure the thumb is going towards the eyes. Okay. Have that. Don't worry about that. I made a mistake, but that's okay. All right. And then for uh, to be more secure, we're going to put some tape on it. Another one. All right. There we go, we have our little reindeer hat. So, you can add a smile if you want, 
or anything, you can add anything to it, but there we go. We have a reindeer hat and it's easy as that. So, <clears throat> so yeah, well, that's it for my activity. Well, now Mercedes is going to show you guys an, more facts about reindeers and hopefully I'll see you guys soon in my other activities. So we'll go to Mercedes now. Thank you so much, Louise, for showing us how to make those awesome reindeer hats. Um, I really enjoyed Louise's activity and it brought back so many memories from when I was in elementary school. Um, I clearly remember making something similar in second grade and I just thought it was really cool so I decided to make my own reindeer hat. Are you guys ready to see mine? Here is my reindeer hat. <laughs> I think it came out so cute and hopefully all of you guys are almost done making yours or you guys are done. So let's go ahead and put them on. Now that we have our reindeer hats on, let's go ahead and talk about reindeers. So reindeers live in the northern parts of Europe, um, North America, and Asia. Male reindeers are called buck and females are called doe. Do you guys know what a baby reindeer is called? Well, if you said a fawn, you are correct. Um, this was a tricky question. I personally did not know what a baby reindeer was called, but it is called a fawn and I think they are super, super cute. Um, just like any other baby animal, I think baby animals are really cute and yeah. So um, they are called reindeers in Europe and caribou in America, which means they have two different names. Um, both male and females grow antlers, as you can see here, my antlers. But the fun fact about antlers is that no two are alike. So basically, antlers are the fingerprints of a reindeer. So if you guys didn't know, you guys all have unique fingerprints. No one else in this whole entire world has the same fingerprints as you. And the same goes to the antlers on deers. So each deer is uniquely different. Um, their diet, their diet consists of plants, so they mostly eat plants and fruits out in the wild and they do not consume meat. This allows them to live up for 15 years, so a lifespan of a um, deer is 15 years and they are mammals. And yeah, those are all our fun activities we had for you today. I'm obsessed with my reindeer hat. It's super, super cute and I'm really happy. Um, the only difference I would say with mine and the one I did in elementary school is the size of the antlers just because back then my hands were really small and now they're a lot bigger. But thank you for learning us with us today. We hope you guys come back and learn some more. Please like, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification when you so you guys can get notified when our next video comes out and we'll see you guys soon. Bye!